Hi, this is I from Groovy Entertainment. Today's video is talking about the new Fumper stories that I had read last month. And I read all I read all the books I had in order. So we're going to talk about them and see what the difference was from the Fumper three the uh, three Fumper stories to to these Fumper adventure books. Now this is the first one. Fumper, wait, Fumper count to 10? Now, I don't know if this is the first one in order. This is the first book I have. Now, this book was all about Fumper counting, um, it was like a number book. Like, you got one handsome bunny, then you got two hummingbirds and all that. And in these stories, they changed the sister, the sister names. They kept the sister names all through these adventures. So there were no changing of the names. Like Fumper's sisters. Let's see if I can remember their names from the top of my head. They were Trixie, Trissy, Rita, and and one more I can't think of the top of my head. But I got three of them right. It might tell me the who who. They're not going to tell me nobody needs this book, I don't think. It's mostly a count book of all the sisters and, and thumpers. And if we're just, if we're not really exciting, but you got to learn more about the thumper people and the ammos. And some of these ammos had their own book, like the Ducks did. And then, because that was one book. Then the next book, was Thumper Furry Friends. You get Flower and Thumper, and I think they gave him a name, but I can't remember his name. It was a short book. Okay, they didn't really call Flower Flower in these books, but if you read with the, the Bambi movie, in all the books I read of the Bambi, you knew he's Flower. But I'm thinking copyrights, I made it so they couldn't use the word flower in, in the in the story. Splendor. Then you got the ducks again. The ducks make a lot of a, a lot of comeback in these books. And I like that. I like when I like when stories keep the same characters all through their adventures, so you don't have to learn new stuff. And this, this, these kind of books were kind of like this, so you could touch it and feel how the duck feels. I hate these kind of books too, but they stick a lot. Then you got the Red Scorer. I think he was in some of the books too. Now, this is the first time I've ever seen a book like this. I got probably seen them a lot in the 80s, maybe. But I don't remember these kind of books. And then this character made a comeback too. Yeah, if you remember, I think he was in this book. The. What what they call that character? The otter? I think the otter was in the Count the Ten book. So that was this book. Goodnight Fumper. Now, this was the first book in the series. And I don't know how this became the first book, but they made it that way from 2007. And it talks about Fumper kind of being a rebel. You can say Fumper was like a little Bugs Bunny. He doesn't want to go to sleep or nothing. So he does travel for the night bugging people. <laughs> See, in the book, in the Ducks came in the first book too. Now, they don't really say the names of his sister that all in this book. You got the red score in this one. So it's good that the first book made all the characters come to life before you've read all the other books. And then you get to see the sisters. Now, they didn't have a name in this book, I don't think. And looking for the pages, I don't see any names. But this is the first time you see the whole family. Mother, Paul, 
the sister to Thumper. And now the story that had read of Thumper, you only hear about the mother and the three sisters. And in, in the rest of the book, they made them have five sisters. I don't know why. They kept changing the names. Then you got Scary Thumper. Uh, Thumper Scary Nights from 2008. Now, I wonder if they have the sister name in this book. Now, now this is a flip book. And I did two versions of this book because I had trouble flipping these things. You see? I don't really got fingernails, so these kind of books are hard to flip. See, when I was little or younger in the 80s, they had a tab on each of the, um, when they had flip books back then. So you pulled the tab up and the thing came up. You could say on uh, 30, 40 years later, they, they didn't make tabs anymore. They made these kind of things that you have to pull up with your fingernails or a screwdriver or something. I can't even get it open now to show you. You see that little tab? Now, they said it went with the original flip tab, made it look a lot easier. And they playing, it's, and they're trying to get home, and they find all these creatures and stuff. So, see if we can pull this big one up. Where'd the, oh. <laughs> no. There we go. And the owl makes, he's in all the books to a point. So I'm glad they bought a, the, one of the original characters from the first Thumper book in 1942. Yeah, the owl is a big part of Thumper life. Then you just get to see them having fun. I'm not going to show you the whole book. I'm trying to see if we can find some of the sister names. And the duck is in this book too. And they were in the first Book, uh, either the first book or the first remake of the of the forty two book. So that was Fumper Scary Night. Maybe they don't say this. Let's try this one, Fumper Shapes. Another learning book on how to do your shapes. Yep, Fumper and his sisters. And it's good that they keep the sisters in all the books. So you get like a running character thing. It's like a TV show. Now, I don't know who the sisters are because they don't name the sisters right now. But I know the sister names are in these stories because I read them. They're just not putting them in there. Okay, now we got four sisters in this one. They can never make they can never make up their mind if you got four sisters, five sisters, two sisters. And I read a lot of thumper stuff. <laughs> but see, they they don't pay put I hit the mother and all the kids. And on the back of these books, they tell you what book to buy next. Let's try this one. Thumper Gesu. Let's see, you got Thumper in the first. This, this is one of the short books that I made a short video out of on, on YouTube short. Okay, you get Bambi in this one. This is the first time Bambi make a comeback in a Thumper story. They somehow left them out and all the other ones. It ain't it's, it ain't right, but they probably don't own the rights to it. Yeah, this is Fumper going through the line. Because Fumper was in all Bambi stories back in the 80s and 70s. But Fump but Bambi would never in Fumper stories. But Flower was an eater in a sense. Now I'm gonna show you a book that I had but never read. And and because I the reason I didn't read it, because it was not a real book to read. That made no sense. Thumper, wait, Happy Home. Now, I had this book. I never, I didn't read it on the channel because, like I said, it was not a real book to read. It was a flip puzzle book, and I'm not gonna read a puzzle book that like it don't make no sense. So I'm gonna show you what this book was about. It's the only time you get to see this book ever, and. 
because this thing was all flips. Look, look how many flip thing there is in this thing. It would take me forever to flip these things open. And look at what it said. It says, Bumper loves his forest home. There is so much to see. Plants and animals in all shapes and sizes. Then they want you to flip all of these and then figure out where this, where all the shapes come from. I'm not going to do that. Now, what I could do and hit some more pictures. What I can do, if I did read this, it would be not a flip book because I couldn't flip all these things. And these things haven't been flipped in 20 years. Okay, 10 years. So these things haven't been flipped in 10 years. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't be fun to flip anything. Then you get to see more of the, more of the sisters and stuff. And it said, "Can you help? Can you help Thumper find a colorful new friend?" So like I said, this is, a, this is a a puzzle book. Then, then they want you to look all these things in a maze to find flower. They don't call them flower; they call them the skunk. Because I don't think Disney. Let them have all the rights to all the characters. Then here's Bumper and Mother. So the book wouldn't be too fun because I couldn't flip them. I couldn't flip them thing, and that would be the end of the book. <laughs> so this is the only time you get to see this book. And I might read this book maybe, but make it a non-flip book. Now here's the big one. Now this book. With all, not all, uh, there were like five new stories and five stories that were two stories put together and made longer. Like one story, let's see, one, one story had this book and another book mixed up with it, making a longer story. And then they added more parts to it to make it a, a five to six minute story. And I'm not gonna show all the all the pages. But it looks like this. So I'm thinking it must have been this book I read all the family names in. Oh yeah, here we go. We got Chipsy, uh Rita. Well, we got two of the sister names coming out of this book. Kind of funny that I read all the character names, but I can't find none of their names. <laughs> okay, Daisy. So I would never remember that name, but but Daisy Duck, Daisy Rabbit. Okay, that makes sense. So you got here's all the names. You got Trixie, Daisy, Tissy, and Rita. And I don't know who made them names up. Somebody like the Speed Racer or the Two Mouses, uh, Trixie, and I forget who the other mouse was, but there was a cat and mouse from the 50s and Dinky the Cat. And, it was, and I remember that name, and then Speed Racer took that name over and made, and made it a different person. And he had Daisy... The duck. Now, uh, Tissy. I don't know. Who, I don't remember that name from nobody. So that might be a name that could be used in this book. And here's the whole family. Some more. So, so there's gonna be some more of the uh, Thumper. What I did was I bought the rest of the Thumper books. And because they're super, super short, one book like a minute long, I'm going to do a, a thumper day when I do get the books in the mail. And I'm going to read all the thumper books that I have bought in, in one day. And you'll get to see a, you got a lot of video that day. Because I think there were seven or eight thumper books that I have bought in. 
So I'm going to read all eight Thumper books in one day, back to back to back. So that would give me a lot of videos for whatever day I get them. And then there's two more books that I'm going to buy also that I didn't know I didn't have the, the other two books. So mostly you're going to have all these Thumper books, and I'm going to read them all real fast. Let's do this book at the end in the picture. Yeah, you can see, see how tired he is? I kept them up too long. <laughs> so this is the this is talking about Fumper part two. And we're gonna read some I'm gonna do another Fumper part three when I read the other books to talk about them. And this it should be the last time I talk about Fumper. And I got a Fumper, I found a Fumper book from 1970 that was before these came out. And in the middle of all the other books I read. So this would be interesting to read more Fumper stuff and one from the 70s. And if you can get that Fumper book from 1970, leave it in the comments and I'll give you a shout out. Whoever can name that 1970 Fumper book. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a great day with another video coming out real soon.